Hi everyone and welcome to Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by TSET. I am here with Chef Val, my favorite, from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thank you for always joining me here. So what are we making because it smells delicious? Well, we are going to do something really simple today, just how to prepare spaghetti squash. Okay. So we're going to cut it in half and so be really careful when you're doing this. Yes. Um, and so your knife is going to go in, you're going to have to apply quite a bit of pressure. Yeah, lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. <laughs> and so notice where my hand is, okay? So right. my thumb is out of the way, slicing it in half. Not the most perfect slice we have going on here. No, but that's good to know because it does take a little effort. It takes a little effort. And then, so you can use a spoon like we're using at home. I have a portion scoop, like an ice cream scoop, and it has kind of a, a sharp edge on it. And so okay. that's actually very helpful too. So once you get these all scraped out, you could actually roast these seeds, like take them away from the rest of the inside, rinse them off, dry them, spray them with a little bit okay, of oil. That's my question, if you yeah. can still use those if you wanted. Yeah, this just turned into a whole different segment. It did, didn't it? Okay. That's, that's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once you have both sides um, scraped out, okay. just maybe put a little bit of pan spray. This is um, olive oil pan spray and then turn it upside down on the pan, and this just goes into an oven to roast for about an hour. So okay. 375, 400, around an hour. So when it's finished, mm -hmm. it's gonna be all brown and toasty, and these are still a tiny bit warm. Okay, oh, here you probably need that. And then see how it just scrapes out, it's called spaghetti squash because it the literally. strands, yeah, they really do look like spaghetti or spaghetti. And obviously good alternative because you're working some vegetables into the mix versus just your standard pasta. Right, so you're getting a high fiber, low carbohydrate option, and like you said, getting all of those vegetables in there. So then you can, you can see what we've done next. We've taken a bowl of the spaghetti squash that's been nice and roasted, mm -hmm. mix one with pesto. You can use a pre-prepared okay. pesto, and we've done, we have recipes online for that that we've done before. And then the other one, we just topped it with some tomato pasta sauce, and then you can sprinkle a little nutritional yeast on there for. So you want to add a little extra onto it. Yeah, so it's a little if extra I can get flavor. It open, basically, it's high in protein. <laughs> Your finger muscles, finger yes, muscles. yes. But it's another way to just get that extra nutritional value yes. that you maybe aren't even realizing or thinking about. It's high in B vitamins, it's fortified, and so it's very good if you're trying to follow a plant-based lifestyle. Okay, do yeah. I get to taste it? Of course you get to taste All it. Right. You have to taste it. I have it. to taste it. Yes. And of course I went for, you know, the typical traditional spaghetti, you know, the spaghetti, the sauce, all that good stuff. And so you can roast this ahead of time and then mm -hmm. stick it in the refrigerator for later in the week and it's gonna, you know, last a week or so in the fridge. It's very good and you still get the whole same feeling of spaghetti and you're getting a whole lot more nutrients right. and things like that along with the mix. Mm -hmm. Awesome, I love it. Thank you very much you. for joining us today. And if you want to learn more about the recipe here or any other information, go ahead and head to our website, kjrh.com.